being nice here. I apologize in advance for anything I may or may not say, which may or may not offend anybody out there. I can't help what comes out of my mouth, and I can't help how honest I am. On top of that, well, we're back for another episode of this, and, well, may contain spoilers. So let's get on. Welcome back, of course, to another episode of the Magical Frozen Range Collection on Bradford. Um, these guys, are, of course, are exclusive there, and they're not toys. And extremely expensive. Again, about £86 or £82. You can do installments. Again, that's like $112, I believe, a time for one of these things. So today we're going to be looking at issue three. This one here is Coronation de Elsa. One of my absolute favourites so far. Has to be because of how realistic she looks. She looks exactly like she does like in the actual movie. Um, Coronation de Elsa, of course, is when she's obviously become crown queen um having reached her age and everything and Anna takes one of her gloves and they have a fight and she releases her powers on accident without meaning to and then whatever that little small guy is called can never remember his name from Tinseltown the little like, paranoid one then goes it's a monster it's a witch and it freaks Elsa out because she doesn't want to hurt people and yet he's cast her as a monster right off the bat. How rude. Again, this is all because an, a troll traumatised her at a young age. He could have said it in a nicer way, but no. If you want to scare kids, take them to a troll. The troll will then tell them grave danger and then show them stuff. Yeah, that's, start, that's bound to go down well with your kids. Not going to make them worry about later in life. Now, Elsa, of course, looks a lot like her mother, except for the fact her hair colour is different to her mom. But the way um, her outfit is designed is to be similar to her mom. Her hair sells like her mother that we've seen in the past. She looks so much like her mom. Now, um, as you can tell, Coronation Day Elsa comes in her Coronation Day gown with her lovely, like, long cape with her lovely gloves. The one is missing because Anna took it. So, let's start from top to bottom. She's got her lovely golden crown with a little purple gem in it. Again, I'm not really sure. No, wait, my mistake. Green gem. My mistake. Apparently, I'm colorblind. Um, it looks lovely. Again, the lighting is terrible, so you can't really see her very well. So, I do apologize. But I love her expression. Um, she actually looks a lot like Elsa compared to, like, most statues I've seen. And they've also got, like, a gem at the top of her cape. Um, they've also added, like, the little detail on the actual gown itself up here, which I like. This part right here is just painted on gold. But the bottom of her dress, as you can see, there's, like, gems but here and the lovely, like, patterns of, like, flowers and stuff. I, I get that the, the gown itself is supposed to be, like, based around, like, summerish colours, I suppose. Because that explains, like, the flowers and things. The cape has also got a pattern on it as well, which I like. And they've also had like different textures and layers to that with gems. Again, I'm not sure how to do these properly now. Um, in her hand, of course, is some of the ice that she's um, obviously used. It's actually glittered and it's like glass. I think this is glass. But it's like, I think it's like glass that's been covered over with um glitter but the glitter does come off on your hands unfortunately i can understand why they didn't do it all the way around seeing as technically when this scene happened where elsa spins around and throws a hand like this um the crystals surround her all the way around but obviously they couldn't do it all the way around they only did it like a little bit on the side I'm not sure what the expression that she's doing there is. It's, just, it's not like enough. Which I would have thought they would have done that expression where she's just like enough. That moment when she accidentally unleashed it her hand is like this on the side of her. And then the hand will be out like this. But instead they did like this. It's because impossibly she was putting her hand on the door just about to. And then spun around to tell Anna off. Again, not really her fault. It was an accident. I wouldn't start chasing Elsa just because she had a little tiny accident. She got in a little argument with her sister. It was an accident. No need to freak out. And poor thing got terrified. 
But she didn't want... And she even said, please don't come near me. Because she didn't want to hurt anybody, but whatever. Now, again, like the other one, the base has a snowflake on it. And it is, it is shiny and reflective, which is another thing I love about this. And it is quite heavy, so be careful. This is part three of the collection. Much like all the others. On the bottom, it's got Disney officially on it. Because it has been given permission by Disney to be created. Disney's Frozen Coronation Day. From the Disney's Magical World Frozen Collection, inspired by Disney's most successful animated film, this fine collection figure is, is a meticulously skeleton painted by hand and strictly limited to a maximum of 95 casting days only. Number, and it says... Full something? Full seven slash three in pencil. It's very hard to read that part. A fine adult collect uh, collectible, not intended for children. 2014 the Hamilton Collection, even though technically I only got it this year and he was only advertised in 2016. Um, 2015, sorry, not 14. So yeah, this is the third one in the collection. Now, there is another thing I need to point to as well. The order in which they've been made the kind of is bizarre. Um, for one... The number one issue was Let It Go, which is a song that doesn't take place at the start. The song that takes place at the start is obviously, there's the one where all like the ice miners are singing first. And then you've got, do you want to build a snowman? Then there's the event of Coronation Day. No way. No, it's it should have been, do you want to build a snowman? Then for the first time in forever, then Coronation Day, then Let It Go. And that would have been in the right order. Because Let It Go was like one of the most popular, uh, no, forget it, it is the most popular song in Frozen. Because it's the most memorable out of all of them. But again. Overall, I'm, I love this. I love the design of these statues they are very well made compared to most that i've seen of disney's creation you can get some statues where they don't look right you can look at the dolls and some just don't look like elsa but um yeah i would definitely say go get this this is actually extremely show accurate as well sorry movie accurate so much like the others it comes with an official card so let me try to find it now um here we go coronation day's documentation so this one's by Kelly Edwards, um, who did all of them. And it says um, that this document certifies that Cor Coronation Day is an issue in the Disney's Magical Frozen Collection. This series is offered exclusively by the Hamilton Collection and is limited to 95 casting days. If you want a certificate of authentication, you've got the real thing. And this, of course, is issue three. And I'm running out of room, and I still got one more to get unless they um, release the frozen short version with like the summer costumes but so far it's just these there is also a singing elsa statue that i want but my mum said no but we will see maybe i'll be able to get it once i get my laptop first anyway um that of course was issue three so i'll see you guys in another episode where we'll have a look at um the other statue bye, bye guys thanks for watching i'm sorry that this was not very too much informative or wasn't as good as like the other episode again i'm not really sure how to do reviews on these these are very well sculpted they're very lovely they're very sturdy again don't play with them you're gonna break them and the detail is just amazing and i wish there was a way i could show you the detail like on the gloves better with the light chain on them the gems even like the patterns on the coat, that is like on her cape, it's amazing. Even her expression. They did a stunning job with this. And her eyes are in line as well, which doesn't often happen. And you normally get like some statues where stuff is all over the place. Anyway, that's all for me for this episode. So bye bye, guys. See you next time in another episode of the Magical Frozen Collection. Bye.